Hello and welcome to all the viewers. So in this video, we will talk about ellipsoid head with eccentric nozzle modeling using ANSI space claim direct modeler. So this video is nothing but the continuation of our ANSI space claim playlist. So in present video, we will going to discuss how to create a ellipsoid head which may consist of eccentric nozzle which is also having an reinforcing pad. Then what we will do now, we will go to our problem statement and then we will move to answers. So this slide represents our actual problem statement. So if you see here, here we need to refer a 2D drawing and we need to create ellipsoid head with eccentric nozzle. So this is nothing but your front view and this is top view and you will find this is nothing but the side view and also there is a small detail view you can see this much a part so you can see this detail view which depicts this nozzle having a reinforcing pad of 75 mm wide and 10 mm of thick while you will find the fillet weight at the both joining ends of the reinforcing pad now if you see here this is nothing but your 2s to 1 lip side which may consist of eccentric nozzle having a dimension of 200 mm 5 with 10 mm of thick. So with what we can do now, uh, we will do, we will first see the, what are the dimensions which are available in order to create this model. So here if you see, this is nothing but your OD that is outer diameter of our respective shell portions or you can say up to this you will find the ellipsoid and later on you will find 100 mm of uh, shell portion is provided this is just to represent the shell and ellipsoid junction and then uh, you will find uh, 1030 minus 2 times thickness so we will get the id of 1000 mm and thickness of 15 mm so what we can do now very first we will create the ellipsoid and then we will create this nozzle okay then what we will do now we will go to our ANSYS and there we will discuss the modeling steps now we are in our ANSYS space claim direct modeler so very first we will go to select the respective sketch we'll click on the plan view now here if you see here on the sketch panel this is nothing but the ribbon tool and this is nothing but our design tools basically you will find your sketch so our, from here we will going to use the ellipse so we'll select the first point of the ellipse you can define the dimensions that is 1000 mm as we know that id okay and then we can define the od uh, sorry major and minor in case of ellipse we can define ellipse by major and minor dimensions now we need to define the minor dimension that is 500 mm okay so now we have created ellipse with major and minor dimensions then what we can do now we can create these two points similarly we can further create these two points and then we can trim the unwanted lines okay so this is in order to create a revolve for the half of this ellipsoid we have created a quarter portion now what we can do we can offset this by 15 mm so for that we will going to use offset curve and here we can define 15.0 enter okay and then we will create a two horizontal line at so we can go to further select and we can further create 100 mm of another line okay and then they simply connect these two lines similarly you can connect these two lines okay now what we did we have created a quarter portion so let's go to our sketch and here if you see 
what we did we have created this quarter portion this profile for the ellipsoid and this 100 mm thick 100 mm length now we can trim unwanted lines like this and then we can go to directly a pull option so in order to revolve this we can use the pull so for that first select the face then uh, 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 we can use the revolve option and here you will find select an axis to rotate so what we can do we can select this axis and then we will try to revolve this here we will put the angle of 360 enter okay now if you see here our 2 as to 1 ellipsoid is created now the next step is creation of eccentric nozzle you will find here at 300 mm away from the center line and at 550 mm above from the this bottom line and having a dimension of 200 mm 5 with a thickness of 10 mm so let's go to here then uh, you can select the face select the face click on the sketch and just click on the plan view now we can create a circle and we will create circle from this center at 300 mm away so for that we will use cartesian dimensions so click on this point then put 300 tab 0 okay and here we will going to use 200 mm okay now the next step is we will further use this step in order to offset that as we know that 10 mm is the thickness of the nozzle then what we did we have we have created inner and outer diameter of the nozzle so what we can do now we can go to 3d and there we will try to extrude this respective nozzle so for that just click on the pull and you will find the surface is created so select that surface select the periphery and just click on the add then uh, define the ruler then try to pull that and here we can define negative direction because our you can see the arrow in positive direction and we will give the dimensions okay now if you see the 550 mm from the bottom okay but it if you see here it is created from this respective face so what we can do now we will further do control z and now we will try to see how we can incorporate that properly so now we can drag like this when you drag like this you will find it is removing the material from that so for that so further go to this face here you can find the add option there you can add the material and then you can drag that on the negative direction so like that you can put 550 okay now go to select now if you want to confirm whether this is proper or not then you can go to measure click on the measure you can first define the first face and then you can define the bottom face okay press control and see if now you will find the distance between these object is 550 okay now we have created a nozzle but here if you see there is unwanted material you will find here this is because of we extruded from this face now let's go to split body option select this body and from where we want to split so we can split from this respective face then simply click on this and then you will find your respective body is removed similarly we can repeat the procedure for here select then uh, i will further explain one more time that is select on the split body select the face uh, sorry select the body as we want to remove this and then we can select the respective face which is used for the slicing now you will find when you click on that you will find this is nothing but the separated body so just click on that then you will find this body is removed 
okay now this is the extra surface if you want you can delete that also now as we know that our eccentric nozzle is created now next step is let's go to sketch now the next step is creation of this reinforcing pad which is having 75 mm wide and 10 mm of thick so let's go to our model then here we can use the another command that is pull so select this face here we can use this third option that is extrude edge and then we can drag that by 75 mm okay select now you will find that the another extra surface is created then we can pull that by 10 mm enter okay so what we did we just created we extruded that respect to edge bottom edge by 75 mm and then we use the pull option in order to provide the thickness now if you see here there is this portion you will find the material is not added because it is that is what the drawback when you use the pull option it is exactly created a pull normal to the face so that's why you will find there is a material which is not added on this face so what you can do now you can just select that face and click the de delete button from your keyboard okay now we can see this respect to material is added okay so likewise you can create a reinforcing pad now next step is you can create a fillet bed so for that you just select this edge click on the pull and here you will find the chamfer right select that button and if you want you can drag that and uh, let's move this toolbar on the topmost side and we know the thickness is 10 mm so we can keep that full weight okay now you will find that complete fillet weld is cleared so similarly we will create a chamfer at this respective location this chamfer nothing but the represent the fillet weld so you can simply double click that and then go to pull option so here you will find the chamfer button just uh, if you want you can just drag that according to your respective size right you can zo zoom sufficiently and you will find here the dimensions which are defined by you will find the field leg one and then leg two like that you can define here or else if you want to give instead of chamfer if you want to give a round then you can click on the round and then you can create the respective here you will find the radius if you want you can give the increase that radius like 2 mm or if you want that 5 mm then you can enter a 5 mm okay so likewise you can find here that respective round or you can say the fillet is created okay now if you see this is nothing but our when you go to here now we have created a complete ellipsoid head with eccentric nozzle model which is also having a reinforcing pad so likewise you can create uh, eccentric nozzle as well as ellipsoid head with the help of space claim okay so that is the end of our present video so let me know your comments if you are facing any difficulties in order to create this respective model